Right, good morning people. Um, I've got a, a Sony um, VPC-E series here. The exact model number, let me find the lid, is PCG-61611M. Okay, these, these laptops are old running Windows 7 they still can be run on Windows 10 so you can install a fresh copy of Windows 10 and they'll still work flawlessly um, these laptops were built like a tank and they're still going versus the, the, the laptops what they're bringing out now they're just falling apart everywhere anyway the moral of this video is that uh, one side of the speaker is working the other side isn't okay now I've already I know what's going on, but I just thought that I'll, I'll, I'll share the thought process with yourself so you, so you can figure things out very quickly. Um, so the new ones are already installed just to reduce the time uh, involved in, in, in recording this uh, uh, process. So let me just uh, finish this. That's been done. Okay. So how I go about testing the speakers. Uh, before you start going into uh, audio IC issues and business, th th that sort of business onto the component level, is to check the speakers on own value basically and see what, what sort of reading you get. It should be around about 5 uh, ohms or whatever it is for a working speaker. Um, but let's just troubleshoot this live. So let me see if you can see the cam multimeter. So I'll put the multimeter here. Is that visible? Right, that's that's better. Let's put the light back, light on. Yeah, okay. So the multimeter is set to ohm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm gra I'm going to grab these faulty speakers here, then, and I'm going to probe between the uh, speakers basically from this connector here. Okay. So that's the connector that goes onto the board. So I'm going to find the first pair or the first speaker. See what we get. Okay, so we're near enough there, 4.6 ohm. Okay, let's have a look at the other one. Oops. Just let's probe again. It's 0 0.66 ohm. Or oh, 6, 0.676 ohm, I should have said. Okay, let's let's switch over the probe and uh, have a look around the other way. I hope you can see all this in my hands and not on the way. It's the same reading. Okay, so let's uh, check the other side again one more time. 4.6. So so that means that the the, the 4.6 ohms is actually the working speaker. Okay, so that gets probably keep it but let's throw this away let's measure the ones that's already on the, uh, the these are refurbished speakers anyway so I've picked them up so let's measure these and see what we get it should be four point something then yep 4.7 on one side so look at the other side 5.5 okay so it's, it's well it's within its range basically remember a lot of components will have a tolerance of, of five for five uh, percent ten percent fifteen percent twenty percent plus and minus so always bear that in mind right okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab myself a bit of tape and install this these speakers as I said, I could I, I could have turned this video into a, an hour-long video, basically going through step by step. But it's an absolute utter waste of time. Basically, let's get to the point, get to the business of 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 why it's doing what it's doing, and that's that's the end of matter. Um, okay, so let's plug this connector in. Right and. Uh, Okay, make sure that there's nothing catching anything. Let's put this back in and then I'll fire up the laptop and just uh, do a quick test and I'm um, hopeful that that should uh, have cured the speaker problem. As I said, and I know I'm repeating myself, one side of the sound was working, the other side wasn't. That was the symptom on the Sony Vio. And this troubleshoot process can be applied on any laptop. Just just measure, measure the values on these speakers and, and see what you get. It's pretty 
straightforward, simple thing to do. Right, let's find the base. Okay, just confirm that everything's in place, nothing's loose, speaker's in his place. <clears throat> because that's, that's the... I'm going to close it off, but I won't close it off fully because... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it won't matter if you see the quick product key on this, it just doesn't give... I don't, just don't give a monkey about it. It's, it's Windows 7 is history. But not to the hardcore users for this, so some of, some of the gamers that I know are still using Windows 7. Let's just put a couple of screws in and I won't keep you guys waiting too long to see whether if that's solved the problem but uh, to my mind I am absolute 100% adamant that this has actually resolved the issue. Let's just put some of these... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Gonna make myself a nice cup of lemon tea. Uh, just find one more screw if possible. If not, then I wouldn't worry about it too much because, as I said, I don't want this to be too long. Just keep it something as basic as that. Okay, let's plug in the battery. Um, you know what I will do? There's three screws underneath the battery compartment. Let me put them in and I'll plug the battery in for definite. Um, and uh, it, it needed a new battery, basically. Uh, the laptop, um, I've thrown in an SSD. So effectively what I've done is I've, I've kind of refurbished, I was refurbished this laptop, but you know, I do get asked if you've got anything cheap lying around. So it's, it's a good idea to sort of go through. Sometimes it's n refurbishing laptop is not a good idea because it's costing you more to fix. But luckily for me that this, this has been solved. There was an issue, there was a corrosion on the board, which I should have uploaded, but it's, it's, it's again, it's time consuming. Mm. <laughs> right, let's load YouTube. <coughs> Can you see? 100% it solved the problem. Okay, let's open up the sound settings. Absolutely brilliant. Troubleshoot device manager, not microphone. Let's uh, sound manage. Stop that. Let's test it again. That's your left. That's your right. So that's all.